Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Youth Man. In this video, as you can see, we're not in my home theater, but we're in a friend of mine's home theater. And so I'm gonna be doing a home theater of the month. So you guys hope you enjoy this. We'll give you a room tour of Sean's dedicated, uh, really it's a multi-purpose home theater, uh, but there's a lot of do-it-yourself stuff in here. So I'm excited to share with you all the components. But before we get into the video, if you're into home theater, audio and video, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so that you'll be notified when the next video drops. All right, guys. Well, I have known Sean for about 17 years. And once I started building my home theater, I remember getting a phone call and he said, um, hey, Michael, check this out. And he shot me a text and I look at it and I'm like, what is that? And he said, I'm going to build a home theater. And I'm like, what do you mean you're going to build a home theater? You don't have a theater room. He's like, yeah, but I've got this massive basement and I'm just going to build a room out of it. And so literally this is a dedicated space that used to be part of his basement on the other side of this wall. He's got a workshop um, and then down at, at the corner, there's more of the workshop. So this is a huge space, um, but I'm going to take you through uh, every component or at least most of the components in this room just to give you some inspiration. Um, you may have a basement, you may have a, a, a room that you could see, oh man, I could do something similar to that in mine. Maybe you can't do this part, but maybe this other part resonates with you. My desire with these Home Theater of the Months isn't to necessarily show the biggest or the baddest or the most expensive, but really just to give you some ideas um, that you might want to incorporate into your home theater. So enough talking, let's get into the tour. All right, here we go. As we come down the steps here, we enter the room right over here to the left. Got a nice little pool section here. Pool table right in the middle. And up front, we have a 130 inch screen. Over to the left, got plenty of popcorn. Sean is really handy, so he took some old scraps of wood and made this really, really cool Avengers piece. And he's definitely into sports. So as you can see here, big sports fan, clips posters on the wall. All right guys, this poster right here is pretty special to me. So this is a article that Klipsch wrote up on Sean's dedicated theater room. And part of what it makes it so special is that um, my friend Sean ended up having three strokes. And I'm gonna link to this particular article on the Clips blog so you can read that on your leisure but it's just an incredible story the left wall is made of cabinet grade birch plywood that he picked up for only 75 dollars up front he has a custom cabinet made from red oak that he designed and built that houses a 130 inch acoustic transparent diy screen using seymour center stage uf fabric Sean wanted to add electric masking, but as you know, electric masking is incredibly expensive. Instead, he disassembled an old electric screen and used the parts to make his own custom masking. Sean doesn't simply think outside the box. He's already dismantled the box and used the parts to build something else entirely. The masking is controlled via a Harmony Ultimate remote and Harmony Hub and can easily switch from 16 by 9 to 2.35 to 1 aspect ratio. The Harmony Hub is ceiling mounted so it can hit all of his IR devices from one location. He uses an Optima UHD 65 projector to produce the 130 inch image. To the right of the screen is a Sony 52 inch LED TV. They often use it to watch a secondary game or to view their Spotify playlist from a custom home theater PC. His front sound stage consists of a pair of Klipsch RF7 version 2 towers that came from this 11 speaker system that I bought for only $2,000 several years ago. Now Sean began with the Klipsch RC7 center channel, but he always wanted a matching RF7 version 2 center channel. If only he could find one that was beat up, maybe he could build a new cabinet for it. You know what? That's exactly what he did. He found a guy on Craigslist that was selling an RF-7 II that was damaged during shipping. The components were fine, but the cabinet was destroyed. Sean ended up trading his RC-7 for the components for the RF-7 version 2. He built a custom cabinet and he placed it directly behind the acoustic transparent screen, which provides for a completely seamless transition 
when sound moves across this front sound stage. Behind the RF-72 is a beautiful array of stonework with accent lighting. The stone was purchased off Craigslist for only $160 from a contractor as scraps left over from several different jobs. It was his first attempt at laying stone. Sean wanted to create a space in his theater room that was not only functional, but also was comfortable for his daughters and his wife. Now for base, he built a custom infinite baffle box that originally had a pair of 18 inch FI IB318 IB subs. Each one of those being fed 2000 watts from a Behringer EPX 4000 amplifier. He knew down the road it was very likely that he would want two or more subs, so he built a column that would serve as a placeholder just in case. Well, needless to say, he's now rocking four 18s and it's absolutely insane. It easily pressurizes his 18 by 36 foot room. Guys, it's the most impressive bass that I have ever experienced. We're talking ridiculously low distortion output that extends down to single digits. Have you ever heard of the brown note? To the right of the subs is his equipment rack featuring a Marantz SR7013 receiver, a PS4, Xbox 360, Apple TV 4K, an Onkyo TXNR709 for pool table speakers, and Klipsch Heresies for the hot tub outside. A 90 watts by 8 Sherborne LDS 1645 amplifier for his Atmos speakers, an Acurus 200 by 3 amp for the front three speakers, and an APC UPS 3000 battery backup. Behind the rack, he has easy access to the rear of the equipment through an access door in his workshop. Now who doesn't love a warm fireplace in the winter? The fireplace is a main feature in his home theater. The fireplace hearth is made from natural stone and he utilizes a ceiling fan remote control that he picked up at a yard sale to control the fireplace fan. The mantle above the fireplace highlights his love for football and Mississippi State where he attended college as well as a wand and Deathly Hollows from the Harry Potter series. Now these are the first two woodworking items that he made after having his three strokes as he began to regain his hand-eye coordination. Just below the mantle and behind fabric is one of his side surrounds. Now this is a white Klipsch RS7. I found a pair of RF7s as a youth man deal on Craigslist for only 50 bucks. Now the white speakers would really clash with his room so he painted the left RS7 black and you can't even tell that it was originally white. From the back of the room is a pool table, which is a great place to chill and hang out with friends as they watch a football game. Mounted next to the pool table is a pair of Klipsch B2 speakers mounted on the wall for sound in this area of the room. And in the very back of the room is a soda fountain. Sean used a freezer and cut a hole through the lid for the dispenser and he mounted a carbonator on an eight inch trailer tire so there would be no vibrations. He controls the temperature by using a digital control that maintains a constant 32 to 35 degree temperature. The module was actually designed to control the temperature of an aquarium, but it was a perfect fit and only cost 14 bucks shipped. On top, he added an oversized cold plate that chills the soda prior to dispensing. Anyone care for a root beer in a frozen mug? Oh yeah. I told you Sean's brain thinks outside the box, outside the freezer box that is. Now most of the time when Sean and his family are watching movies or listening to music, they sit on the eight foot beanbag made by Comfy Sack. He also has a row of four theater seats behind the beanbag for those that enjoy a more traditional seating. And with the 7.4.4 Dolby Atmos speaker system, you're sure to get an immersive sound no matter where you sit. All right, guys, well, I hope you have enjoyed this Home Theater of the Month. Um, Sean has truly put in an amazing amount of work um, building these stones, building this custom cabinet. Um, pretty much everything you see just kind of came from his mind. Now, his brain has always thought just way different. Um, I like to say that he doesn't think outside of the box. There is no box. Just beautiful craftsmanship in his room. Um, I love the decor, I love the feel in here. Now, granted, acoustically, there's definitely some things that could improve as far as like maybe adding carpet, 
um, and such. And there's definitely some hard surfaces, but he's also got some acoustic panels that has tamed down quite a bit of the echo in the room. And also this big, massive eight, I think it's eight foot bean bag acts really as like a big uh, acoustic um, absorption panel, even a, a big bass trap. And so I think that definitely helps acoustically as well as in the ceiling. Um, I don't know what you call this, but basically it has rafters up here. And so that's almost like a diffuser uh, for sound. And so definitely just a beautifully done, um, gorgeous looking uh, home theater. So my hope is that as we've looked at Sean's home theater, it's just giving you some inspiration for your setup. Um, like I said, maybe there's some features in it that you really resonated with, or you can kind of visualize that in your home. Um, and so, man, that's just my thought and that's my desire with these home theaters of the month. And so if you guys enjoyed this, I'll post a link to all of the uh, photos that I've taken, as well as to a couple of things. He's got a, um, a build thread over in the ABS form. So I'll link to that as well as the article that Clips wrote up on their blog website about his home theater. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel because I've got lots of videos that are coming up. I produce weekly content on home theater, audio and video. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell. And as always, you guys be blessed and we'll catch you in the next video.